Hey there, this is part of our One Thing You Need to Know series. We have asked you for one thing you wanted to know. And these are the questions that we got this last week. So I'm going to just take one from here. This one is from uh, Sarah from St. Paul. Why do managers think it's too hard to develop their employees through their natural strengths? Why do they think it's easier to dictate what and how to perform based on their preferred style? Hmm. Um, well, it's hard to know, right, Sarah? I mean, every manager is different. But frankly, it's the, it's the difference between fear and return on investment. Most managers, frankly, are frightened of other people's style because it's not theirs. So it's just, it's a way to mitigate your fear by enforcing people to do work in a way that you would do work. And there's also that feeling of the, you know, the old cliche that you should treat people as you would like to be treated. So it almost feels good to say, well, I'm going to treat or manage you the way that I would like to be managed. And so it just feels comfortable. It feels scary to go, I don't know how you learn. I don't know the best way to recognize you. I don't know how frequently you wanted to be checked in with. But I do know those things about me, so I will treat you in a way that feels comfortable for me. It's just a way to mitigate your fear. Where we have to flip it to is we have to help managers and leaders understand that you are, when you're managing people, you aren't putting in what God left out. You're trying to draw out the uniqueness that God left in, right? So you're trying to figure out who is this unique person. This unique person has a unique way of being motivated, a unique way of building relationships, a unique way of being recognized. And so as a manager, you've got to say to yourself, well, how do I then release or unleash all of that uniqueness? What is the most, even if you're, Put the moral issue aside for a minute and just go, what is the most efficient way to help that person unleash everything that's valuable about them? Well, the answer to that question is to look at who that unique human is, see what signs and clues they give you, and then maximize those. That is the most efficient way to be productive. So it's the, for any manager, it's like, we can put your fear aside and instead go, let's go with efficiency. Let's go with the best return on investment of your time as a manager. And the best return on the investment is not to manage someone the way you like to be managed. The best return is to figure out the uniqueness of the person and then turn that into something productive. That is the smartest, most efficient, most practical way to get the best out of someone. Thanks, Sarah.